you can see or not but basically this window is going to be slightly different um, to the other ones because we've got the kitchen the kitchen unit and obviously the kitchen top now I'm trying to get it as near to the window as I can but because we've got an opening window um, obviously when the curtains are on they're gonna catch on that a little bit but that'll be fine they'll, they'll stretch around that um, but also I wanted to keep as much um, work top as possible and missing the tap I am going to be replacing this tap um, but I think I've got enough room to to do that so so yeah so the bottom one's just going to go on the worktop like that but the top one I have to just bend it around this corner a little bit and it'll fix up here and bend around there a little bit so that it just gives you that coverage um, you know when the curtains are on so right I'll get this top on cut and fitted so yeah these um, curtain tracks they come just in lengths um, I think these ones I think you can get them all different lengths but for the windows that we need these are 1400 which I need about a 1300 so yeah basically they come um, I don't know if you can see that a little channel in that the uh, the curtain comes ready prepared with these again I don't know if you can see those and they're basically slot inside like that and run up and down obviously just like in a, a household curtain track uh, unfortunately yeah they're straight obviously and on most of the windows you need to get a bit of a curve part curve here so that the, when the curtains are drawn yeah the, the well back when they're open then but when they're drawn you, you're getting this coverage over the window so uh, that's why the tricky bit is is in bending these because as you can see they're quite sturdy so i have done it before on other vans but to be honest i can't remember what was the best method eh? i'm just going to try it in a, a vice first just to bend it if not i might just have to put a bit of heat on it to to bend it round but um, anyway give it a go come back to you in a bit I think I've actually got them somewhere in here. Um, a bit rough and ready, but I think when I get a couple of screws in it, I'll just pull things back a bit tighter than they are. Oh, they could be far away. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Get it drilled and uh, fix it up. because you, there's only a couple of lengths on, in height 
you can get these curtains and those are sort of the shortest ones nearest this window so they are a little bit slack to be fair uh, didn't have a lot of choice because of the worktop height it's so normally they'll be fitted further down on the on the door which tightens them up so when we do this one that height there um, it'll be better matched to the curtains but this one we're just having to make do for now it'll work but it just won't be uh, 100% but anyway that's one on so I'm going to feed the other one on and then I can finish fixing the bottom track tidy the top up um, yeah that's it really <laughs> Right, so I found that <clears throat> once you get them cut and bent, you know, roughly to the curves of the windows, I fix them with two screws, top and bottom. And then the next thing I think is really is thread the um, thread the uh, curtains on, and then you put your little because of little end blanking things that have another screw hole in them so once the curtains are on we can put them on and then fix that end which will cap it all off so I think that's the way forward I'll put you back on there in a minute see how it goes <laughs> fitted um, you can see the back ones there um, they're not perfect they could do with being shortened in height really <clears throat> um, I might do that at some point but and then this one they're all on <clears throat> yeah the other trick and the ones on the kitchen side so yeah, I think so. They're not uh, they're not perfect, but they'll do the trick for now. Uh, so I think when 
eventually when we do a, a refurb I'll probably get some blinds you know build a, a frame and, and rejig it all with blinds certainly these two might just leave those because those curtains at the back are gonna really stay shut all the time um, just to stop anybody you know it totally blacks it out from outside and um, we'll just open them yeah when we're somewhere we want to look out so yeah pleased with those yeah. so do a bit of hoover really get the hoover out and a quick hoover um so anyway i'm going to sign off now um I have got a few other little jobs that I'm going to do, but to be honest, I've got this beast next door. Louis, I've got some jobs to do on Louis because we, we really need to get him up for sale. Uh, get a bit of money back in the bank before I do anything any more to this. Uh, I just wanted to get these curtains on so that if we do decide just to get away for a night, even our uh, weekend, uh, we're good to go. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to leave it for now. So, please, I can say any questions. Uh, just if you do want me to do a full sort of review on the van, as it is, um, I will do. Um, but in the meantime, if you like, subscribe. Um, it'll help our channel move along because we're new to it learning and learning all the time this YouTube um, but I, I mean we, we, we just started it just to document our tr our trips really but if these sort of van builds uh, if it helps anybody or any questions just to give people ideas you know it all uh, it all makes me feel better if uh, if you're helping people out. So anyway, take care. Catch you next time.